Our next caller is Parker from Oklahoma. Hey, Parker, how can we help you? Hey, what's what's going on? Not much, man. How you doing? I'm good. So I've been strength training for about three years now, and I built up a pretty good strength base, but I've been working on losing some weight lately. And this uh, strength base has brought up some mobility issues that I'm working on with Prime Pro. And I'm running strong to preserve that strength while I'm losing weight. And I'm wondering if I can run strong and Prime Pro at the same time and reap both benefits. Oh, yeah. I'm, Prime Pro was designed to be run with any program or no program. It's a correctional exercise-based uh, program. So the mobility movements and the connection movements and the correctional exercise movements in Prime Pro, you do those um, throughout the day. And you can use them as priming movements as well, but do them throughout the day and then follow MAP Strong and adjust the volume and intensity of the correctional exercises if you feel like you're overdoing it. But um, it's it's designed to be done with anything or nothing. It's not a workout yeah. program per se. It's more of a correctional. I guess it depends program. though on how much like it depends on how much effort you want to put towards mobility, right? Because I would I would even right. consider. Um, you know, if if it's if mobility is a really big focus for you, which like it was for me not that long ago, um, I would probably cut back or eliminate the work sessions on strong and replace that with like an all mobility day, because the yeah, strong that's, that's the, what I've been doing. Okay, yeah, I love that because the foundational days in strong mm-hmm. themselves are is great programming. You're going to get great results from that. You're going to yeah. retain plenty of muscle and still probably get stronger running that program like that. And then instead yeah. of the work sessions, I would actually go and I, and and I would agree with Sal too. Though I would still be trying to do, like I would have uh, those two or three days a week that are pure, you know, forty minutes to an hour of all mobility type work, and then I would probably pick one or two mobility drills that are making the greatest impact right. uh, on as my your primers, body. right? As your primer, and you're yeah. doing that every day. So like for him, like we will use me as an example, like. I was working on all my mobility, but my, you know, combat stretch and my 90, 90 were, those were my like go-to moves that I was doing like every day, multiple times a day and always before I did any workout. And then I tried to have a couple days in the week where it was like just a full dedication towards mobility with whatever program. I was. Yeah. Running. The beauty of prime pro is it helps to kind of uh, really isolate and see like the grossest offenders. So you could, you could see, is it the ankles that really need the most work? Is it the shoulders, you know, where in my body, you know, can I really hyper focus? Focus and, and see the most return from, and when you get through that, uh, like to to both their points is like this is where now you want to figure out how to to add that ritual uh, almost every day, and so maybe it's less because you're putting more demand on your body in, in these foundational workouts, uh, but then you know the following day you look at it more as a recovery, and so you're going to do a bit more in terms of like movement and also like adding more stability around the joints. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's what I've been doing, and I felt good. Okay. I feel more mobile. Me and my mom have both been running Prime Pro, oh, and good. we both feel way better just oh. after one week. Oh, that's, yeah. that's right. great, man. Well, thanks for calling. Yep. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I think the key to remember with any goal is if you're focused on more than one goal in your training, you're going to get each of them slower. You know. Yeah. So if I'm trying to get strong and mobile, I'll get some strength and I'll get some mobility. If right. I want to get a lot of mobility, then I got to focus just on that. A lot you, of you can just focus do on it, but yeah, you're right. It's it's uh, specificity always applies, and so if like your focus is really like uh, on on accomplishing two, and those are two, I mean the they're not the same goal. So so you're going to get into that conundrum where it is going to kind of draw out your your success. Well, and e- although they both can be pursued at the same time, sure. they are a bit conflicting, mm. and, and a lot of that is the the psychological piece is that, and I, I remember battling with this you know also you know wanting to still be buff and strong but then knowing like okay i really need to address mobility and i actually i had to let go of that i had to kind of let go of like the inevitable i'm probably going to lose a little bit of muscle i need to stop worrying about being so strong or being so Mm -hmm. buff if i really really want to get mobile and so that became more the foundation right so even though i told him to to change the work sessions i actually the way i was going into weeks is like my most important days were those three mobility days Mm -hmm. and then oh i'm going to add some strength training in there too so I don't completely like atrophy and disappear. Yeah, but even with the strength training, it's mobility focused. It's right. lighter. Way range of motion. Yeah, 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 I'm challenging range of motion yeah. and stuff like that. I'm not trying to push the most weight I possibly can. I know can. you said conflicting, and I do want to uh, to make sure that I, I, uh, I 
clarify, like better mobility done properly will eventually make you stronger, faster, and give you better strength gains as well. So mm -hmm. we don't mean conflicting in the sense that if you if you build one, then you lose the other one forever. They're whatever. complimentary. They're very complimentary. Right, right. So I think I think a better way for me to say it is they're they're conflicting psychologically. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because when you when you go the into the intent is different. That's right. When you go into a a quote unquote strength based program, your goal is to get stronger and add more. And you're weight. lifting differently. And you're lifting differently. Yes. It is you are you are lifting to lift the most weight, which doesn't always mean the fullest range of motion or the best form and technique. That's right. And so it's the psychological piece that is that is conflicting. It's like not exactly. It's not. And I know I would get some shit for that, right? Oh, that's not true at all. If you get a greater range of motion, you can build more muscle. Yes, we would agree with that. But what happens is if you are tr really trying to get strong and you're really trying to get mobile, you end up, you hit this crossroad at one point where it's like, oh, I'm doing bench today and I feel really good and strong. And you want to hit to your max. Yeah, I'm supposed to do 90% of, you know, and low reps or whatever. But it's like, but I got to work on my mobility. That's right. Work on my, right. That's right.